Hey everyone. We're live and we're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake again. Yeah! But you know what? There is also a sale on Steam and there are some horror things that have just dropped in price. As you may or probably do not recall, I was looking at the query as something that we could do for a special Halloween stream, which the, the t deadline for that is running up. It seems like it's either tomorrow, the next day, or Monday that we get a Halloween stream in. S and uh, maybe dress up, try out our costumes, you know. So, I'm- oh, hello granddaddy! So I'm gonna be talking to Stefan about that, about maybe playing the query, dressing up, and for stream! For stream on a special day that is not on a Wednesday or on a Friday, since we have, you know, Next Wednesday will be after Halloween, and that is too late! Yeah. We need to play games together, and it's gonna be fun. Although, well, let's see. So, Saturday night we have plans. Maybe it'll be, like, I have to... Uh, when can it happen? We have to We have to book it. We have to book something. So, yeah, the query. It, I was talking about it being $60 and going, like, that is too expensive. And now... It's 75% off, and it's $15. What? Or I could get the 2K Horror Bundle. What? $140 value? This is crazy! For $25, you get Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2, which I've never played before, either of those games. But I believe that they are... You know, they are definitive games. You get The Darkness 2, and the query for only $25. This is like such an amazing deal. And it's just for 10 more dollars. Like, uh, oh, classy. I can't stay. I got to work tomorrow. Can't stay for long. Oh, no. Why am I clapping? Bioshock. Good. Uh, I don't, I feel like I can't turn away from this bundle, but am I ever going to play these games? Bioshock Remastered. It was released in 2016. Uh, I'm gonna see. But it's just 10 more dollars and it's so cheap. I just. This is how they get you. This is how they get you. Fine. I'll do the bundle. It's 82% off. Full price is like a crazy. Yeah, I'm buying it for myself. This is a gift from my mom. It doesn't cost me anything. So. I have plenty in my Steam wallet. Plenty. Okay. It is purchased. Now we have to play it. Uh, yes. I know that Stefan's played Bioshock, but I've never played it. And I have a Steam Deck, by the way. I have a Steam Deck, and I don't use it. Bioshock 2, good as well. I remember, I think it was Bioshock 3 that I saw Stefan play. Was it? That oh, was ages and ages ago. What am I? What kind of girlfriend? As I was. Watch his... Their boyfriend. Play games. No, I play the games. I don't sit back and watch. No. Randy, you need to use it. Need to use what? Use my monies? I use my monies. I have plenty left. So yeah, we have Bioshock 1 and 2. And some other game, I don't know. Probably I shouldn't download it now because I need my Wi-Fi. For things. For uploading and downloading. Games are meant to be played, not watched. I agree. Except for what you're doing is watching me play. But you played the games yourself. Oh, you need to use it. Oh, the Steam Deck. Yeah, I know. But you know what I am doing? Instead, I am being here on this computer. At least as of this moment, I'm here on this computer being on the Steam on my own machine. I have a very powerful gaming laptop. Not a... Not a desktop computer, because I work here as well, so I just swap out my stations. 
and I hook it all everything up the same way. So I have a, a full system down for work mode, then play mode. And my play mode is just when I'm streaming. Otherwise, because my work life is on my computer, I spend almost no time on the computer. I mean, I'm on my phone, so I guess maybe that counts. But I spend almost no time on on a computer. Unless I'm working. and Or unless I'm streaming. My only gripe with the Steam Deck is it dies so quickly. It dies quickly? I feel like it is pretty powerful and it's pretty heavy. And it's not that comfortable to hold. And... It's cool. But I still haven't gotten used to it. It's... There's nothing quite like it. Is there? That's so... Powerful. In your hands. It lasts like an hour? Is it that brief? See, I've... I haven't even had enough experience with it. I have a charger right there. A nice, long charger. Yeah. A switch charger. <laughs> did it come with a charger? Did it come with anything? Because if it did, I can't find it. Granddaddy, maybe I'm just a tacky old man, but I like the switch light and content. Wait, and is that what you said? A little heart thing in the corner always covers up. And, and content with playing on, on my game. Gaming laptop? And I'm content. That's See, that's so important. That missing word, I'm content. That It changes it from content to content. See, the word! Missing! Sorry. <laughs> yeah. We're, I'm content playing with the gaming laptop, at least, as we are right here, right now. I laid down and played some Harvestilla the other day, and that got, I got very bored with it very quickly. Th something interesting, um, I feel a little bit more bored playing video games when I'm not streaming them. I, I, I feel somewhat more aware of the grindiness of games. And then I think that I'm understimulated. And I, I need to talk aloud or, or do something else because I don't know. This probably makes no sense. <laughs> Does it make any sense? I've been playing this watermelon game. Mm. That sounds delicious. Watermelon game. Anyway, Granddaddy, you are no tacky old man. No, you are not. You and don't call yourself an old man, even though I guess you call yourself Granddaddy. So already, it's a little bit too late for me. Don't. No, no one call themselves old. If you call yourself old, then you'll actually feel old, and then you'll act old, and then. And then you're actually a tacky, grumpy old man. And no one wants that. No one wants to be around you if you're grumpy, okay? No grumpies around here. Only um, vibrant, energetic youths in my circle. Only. But your name's Granddaddy, so that just, you know. You have to be a vibrant, energetic Granddaddy. <laughs> so... Granddaddy says, so I heard a YouTube gamer once say, streaming allows me to enjoy the game without being so critical. And this person was not me, I assume. I'm grumpy, but I work retail. That must be hard. You have to hold back your grumpiness so that it all comes out uh, at the end of the day or afterward, or are you actually grumpy and a terrible retail person. Mate, sometimes people deserve to be backtalked. <sighs> I'm very grateful to have never had the experience of working with customers. 
I'm sure it would alter my entire perspective of humanity. Because me going through the world never have a bad retail experience because I'm me and I'm nice. But not everyone's me. You know, probably 70% of people on the planet are more disagreeable than me. And then... You know, the people who are in the lowest thresholds of agreeableness are causing probably most of the agreeableness crimes. <laughs> so, being the biggest meanies, small number of meanies, causing you so much torment. I look like I'm not very nice. No? Older daddy. Uh, granddaddy. Um, I sort of relate to the, so I heard uh, YouTube Gamer say, streaming allows you to enjoy the game without being so critical. I sort of relate, I had to get out of the mindset of being so critical about games. You're critical about games? Since I'm kind of judgy, since I know what I like and can't be bothered to put up with things that I don't. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, well, I guess I'll ask a vain question. What has been your experience? Or is it vain? I'm a little bit actually nervous by the answer, if you do answer. What has been your experience watching me play games? In terms of... level of criticism. I don't think I'm a very critical person but i don't know i don't see myself very clearly because it's i all relative to other people and i am in this room all by myself like still covid quarantining myself on accident day after day after day and i don't and i mean i have no perspective you're doing well no oh, thank you but you are actually a sweetheart. I thought you were a grumpy. I am so confused. Also, hello, Delany. Hello. Um, no, it wasn't you. It was, uh, do I say this name correctly? Blitz Z, I think, or maybe Queen. These are people I don't know because I don't know streamers. Um, I follow those too. I see. Yeah. My experience with uh, playing games while streaming is it is a different beast. It's its own thing. Like games that are fun to stream are different from games that are fun to play. Sometimes. And I like games where there's room to talk about what is happening. There's room to chatter and, and have... So there has to be story, situations that, to react to and to go like, oh, what do you think about situation? And to have menu screens or to have like natural pauses in the game. Um, but playing, hmm, what are bad games to stream in my opinion? I think just from my own. Games that take a lot of focus, where I have to be on and I have and it's very action oriented, and I like have to be looking at the screen and I can't look at the chat, or it's too abstract where it's like a puzzle game and there's nothing to talk about or there's nothing to do but comment on exactly what is happening and there's no obvious tangent to go on. I want to go on tangents. I want to have conversations. So. The what fun situations to respond to. Yeah. Uh, granddaddy, you're fine. I think you call out what you like and don't like, which is always endearing and fresh. Really? Not in... <laughs> I'm, I'm, was I fishing for compliments? I'm not sure. But it, wow, thank you. Um, I think a lot of the things I call out, though, or a lot of the things I say, I'm not holding very 
I don't hold anything very strongly when I'm playing the game. And I make make these arguments like I was saying in the other stream, like, oh, Aerith is being such a tease right now and she's playing with Cloud's heart and all of this. I think it was just a fun take to have and to argue. I did I wasn't like holding on to it and thinking that it was true because clearly there's other ways of looking at things. Um but to see her in that moment as a, a heart wrecker um, made for a fun moment in my mind. I'm a grumpy sweetheart. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, classy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Granddaddy, there's a difference between overly critical and just analyzing things that work and don't work. Yeah. You know, and things that it's still like, if it doesn't work, then it's it doesn't work for me or it doesn't work for me in this moment. So much of taste, I think, is about priming before you even experience a thing. Like so much is about expectations going into it. You expect, and if it the thing that you see meets what you expected, then you like it. And if it doesn't meet what you wanna see, then you don't like it. And that's why I've said all the time that I hate just talking about likes and dislikes because it is not just subjective. It's like ultra subjective. It's subject, it's you change from moment to moment. You could, like, something that you experienced just earlier that day can frame it. Something, the, the age that you are frames it. You know, your childhood experiences frame the game. And so there's no separating yourself from it. Your personality also affects it. You are who you are, but you, you are, you are diff a different person from minute to minute, from day to day, um, too. That's why I really don't like to hold on to things firmly. I don't even like to say too much. I really like this. I mean, you, you can hear like, oh, I really enjoyed playing instead of saying I really like uh, just as a because I think it's more factual. And also it's leaving room to have a different experience again, to have experience next time with the game, but, you know. Something like Final Fantasy X had a very profound impact on me, and it was very specifically because of the age I was when I played it and the themes that were in it, and I perfectly coincided with my coming of age in my, I guess, coming of age and, and coming to terms with myself and sense of enlightenment, because I was in an age where I was so confused about how I felt about religion and how I felt about romance and this epic story and, and how I felt about friendship. And seeing an epic story like that felt like I had a framework to think about and have morals. What do I want in a romance? I mean, the romance between Yuna and Titus I loved so much. And I loved like Titus's playfulness and Eunice so shy and so serious. I completely related to that. I thought, oh, she's me. She represents me. So I was completely in her mode of thinking at the time. Um. Oh, oh yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> something about teasing um yeah what good old movie well am i missing something i miss you saying delaney i work with costumers i used to work in grocery stores uh -huh. internet trolls Oh, F the internet trolls who can't handle your opinion or anyone's opinion. Yeah. The only thing I ever say about someone's opinion is that we should be mindful not to let 
uh, only bias shape it. Emphasis on only. You cannot help but let bias shape it. Cannot help it. A lot of people seem to use a bias like of something to affect their opinion on something else. Um, I feel like I need to read what you said again. Seem to use a bias. Maybe it's the way it's written. Like, of something. Like, they let it affect them. Yeah, I think that it's just the, the pearl clutching that's the most annoying thing. Even if they're aware, even if you point it out, like, oh, the reason... I mean, you don't even have to point it out, but... That the, the bias in the slant is so obvious, and even if they're aware of it, they still clutch their pearls and say, no, I'm right, like factually right. People who say they're factually right drives me crazy about something. Teasing about the game? Oh, you will see soon. I guess I will. Oh yeah, speaking of the game, I changed my title to be about Lindsay, because I was like, wow, what a... Da. What a, a broody man, Ugh, tormented, and I uh, like, oh wow, maybe he's my he's my favorite. He's become my favorite. He's like the new. He, someone said that he's like Sephiroth too, with that white hair. Yeah, new Sephiroth here. He needs to be a big main character. Did I say Leslie or, or sorry? Did I say Lindsay? Or it's Leslie. Sorry, Leslie. I, so, and I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to, instead of Lindsay, okay. I'm going to mess this up because of, uh, his name is Leslie Kyle, correct? Did I spell it in the, wrong in the title? Did I get it right? I said, oh, it's Leslie. His name's Leslie. Yeah. I got it wrong, so I need to change it. Thank you for correcting me, Leslie. I will, uh... <laughs> it's all good. I, the reason why I think it, Leslie Kyle is because I had a childhood friend who was named Kyle Lindsay. Lin oh, Lindsay was his last name, Kyle Lindsay. And Leslie Kyle, it just... <laughs> It, anyway, that's, that's where my brain is going with that. <laughs> and he was also my childhood crush. So it also is like confusing to me. <laughs> ah. Yeah. What I said above explains what I meant. Oh, I like Star Wars, therefore I don't like Star Trek. Aha, I see. Anyway, glad I fixed it. Ooh, so embarrassing. Leslie, I'll try to remember. I think I had a coworker named Leslie who was male. Yeah. Never happened. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad his fiance is dead. Or whatever. Did did she die? Did we find out she she's dead, or he's just revealed that he's trying to find his fiance? <laughs> Granddaddy, with this retroactively being perfect thing, I'm kind of enjoying it. Like the fact that we've done everything first try, we've never died ever, not once in Final Fantasy VII remake. We did the push-up, pull-up challenge perfectly first try. Did the Wackabox Wonderkund, Wackabox Wonderkund trophy first time. In fact, we haven't been playing this game for 30 hours. I think that we've only been doing it for 15 because we're just speeding through this so quickly. It's um pretty incredible. And it's, if, if you just retroactively just say it didn't happen that's all it really takes didn't happen you know everything that happened in 2020 
It just didn't happen. I'll have you know. The economy is great. There is no reason to panic. Everyone continue to spend money. Everything's fine. It is. I did it. I, I know. I have a couple of, I know a couple of people who bought houses recently. During, I like, think it is a, is there really ever a bad time to buy a house? I think that there is because the rates are so high. I don't think that things are getting better or there's no getting better outlook in the future. And then also the housing prices are really high too and they haven't dropped. So it's like the rates are really high and the housing prices are high. So there, it's a lose-lose. The only win is that you have property. But another tangent. I am over halfway at this point. I ha ha have to be. Yeah. So it's implied she's dead. Aha! I am glad that it's implied she's dead. But he, um, Leslie also, see, I, I like that to think about it. Leslie. Um, he's really shown to us that it was very, uh, really a good call to help out Tifa. Because I am probably, he probably thought the same thing. Like, she's strong. She can handle herself. She's like, can do kickboxing or whatever. Has a super powerful feather gloves. But no. Was not able to succeed in that regard with the Don Corneo. Herion, implied but not confirmed. She could be alive, but I think it's a good chance. Corny boy killed her. Corny boy. Corneo. Mm, doesn't that make you think of the ice cream? It's called Corneo, right? Or oh, it's Cornetto. Cornetto. Yeah, Cornetto ice cream bars. And the only reason we know about them is because of the trilogy that Edgar Wright made. Correct? Isn't that correct? Edgar Wright trilogy. I'm just just making sure. Play the game. Hey, yeah, the Cornetto trilogy. When I hear Don Corneo, I just think of Cornetto requesting, no demanding. Yeah, I'll play the game. <laughs> but right now I'm talking about the Cornetto trilogy. What is your favorite movie from the Cornetto trilogy? You tell me right now. I must know. Demandedly request. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I think of ice cream. And I think I've only had a Cornetto once. Because I was in England only once. All right. You know, I slowly inch toward the game. Like, I have the screen open. I think about it. I go, hmm, hmm. But why do we even want to play the game anyway? Isn't talking just fun enough? I don't understand you. I don't understand. Okay. I hate the Gold Saucer song. How can I put up with it for that long? Isn't that right? Okay. Um... I'm switching the screens. No game, just talk more. Yeah, agility. You're so right. You're in my court. This is what I want to hear. I want to hear that, but it's too late now. Well, it's never too late. We continue to talk as we play. Okay, so last time we found the treasure. That's correct and wait and now we are oh yeah and then we move forward right that's what happened i i do want to get of course we were doing quests do we want to get back out of here i do not want to continue playing the game now oh this is 
This is the treasure. So, the question is, do I leave or do I keep going? Like, am I able to get back out of this situation and continue with uh, chapter 14? I am concerned. Should I... Should I move forward or should I move back? Uh... Like, the safer thing is just to go back, right? Okay, leave. Woo! Woo! Okay, I that's all the validation I need. Except for leaving is I... Oh, I don't know how to leave, but... Oh, you know what? We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it. We can do it. We're strong. We're powerful. Uh, oh, yeah. No turning back. I, I'm just sick of this. I'm so sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> I love hitting the air. That's my favorite thing. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Cloud is not in good shape. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Why is it? No! <laughs> Why does this go so badly? So quickly. I, I think it's just pure laziness. Wait. He's asleep. Oh, this is great. Keep it! <laughs> Why? Good to go? This time. I just thought that I could just phone in this or something. Ah. Yeah, hitting the air, hitting the air. Okay, um. I uh don't give up. Frustrating. I yeah. No need to panic. This, uh, these short battles. I, we talked about Regin last time. I don't. Yeah, I. Getting really sleepy. Let's do this. All right. No. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay. Firing. Fire. Calling fire. You're done. It's staggered. Um. No. Well, now's our chance. You'll this. Tifa, you'll uh, do your star shower. Barret will uh, do your uh, special maximum fury move. Okay. You're better Ugh, than this. What a pain. <laughs> Guys, I saw a YouTube clip of a guy who apparently considers 10 mid. Oh, tell me more. Do tell. I want to hear these criticisms. Just because I'm in the mood. I feel like uh, hearing people saying things. And uh, having opinions. And being not me. I don't use triggered often, but I was ready to throw hands. Uh, you know, the word triggered, it just... It perfectly describes what it is. And I I wasn't a fan of the word. Oh wait, I just went back down, right? Wait, I came out of there. Well, well I, I'm confused. I don't know where to go. Oh wait, this is the place I wanna go to. I'm walking out. How do I leave? So down here, oh, it, it's showing it in both places. So this restricted access, I want to climb up. So I, pr probably if I go here and then up, then I'll be able to get out, right? <laughs> this is how I get out. Okay, yeah, trigger me. Do it! It's on you. Ow! Ah! 
How are you gonna do that? Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. Uh, hold on. I will, I will respond to you, I swear! Yeah. Ow, I wanted to get the staggered thing, but no. Um. Cloud, really. Don't stop now. Let's it up. I, this is so pathetic. I'm so pathetic. I don't have any MP. Stay strong. Taking over. Here we go. Um. Yeah. I. I guess we stick with Barrett. These things like the ice damage. Even though it's reduced, it's better than uh, anything else. Okay. He basically said the only reason people like 10 is for the meme moments in Blitzball. Well. That's not even an opinion. It's like, in a way, it's just like, it's just factually not true. I can see how that would be uh, upsetting. You know? Because it's just... It's just not true. Also, Blitzball... If we're going to be talking about anything, I know people like Blitzball. But if anything is mid... Blitzball could have been a much better game. It's, um... Underdeveloped. Am I going the right way? Am I, am I doing it? Ooh. Ooh, look at this! I reject this man's opinion. Yeah, that is a, a purely rejectable opinion to have. Truly! Uh, he says the love story is tacky and overdramatic. Okay, I can see the overdramatic. I can see that. Um... Uh, I mean, I can see it, but I also don't agree. I mean, they have um, their love story is awkward. They're just silence, and then they're laughing. Uh oh, this is the place I didn't want to go to, was it? I don't want to go over here. Wait, I want to get out of here. <laughs> what is going on? Wait. Is it, it does this get me out of here? <laughs> I did go back the way I came. Maybe Lindsay just teleports to the other side. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll come back out with you. <laughs> we'll d destroy this man's whole career. so kind aren't I just like hmm I can see that sure oh I am probably not going the way I should be going aqueduct truck line where is it I want to get out of here Opinions. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes, we are going the right way. We have to be going the right way. Because the music that's playing is the chase. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? What are we doing? I, well, I wanted to leave. I want leaving seems good, but <laughs> I 
to actually hear this opinion be spoken so wholeheartedly would be hard to deal with. Um, but I think maybe a fun way, probably also not productive, you could because you could just throw it out. Oh, it's Leslie. Leslie. Virgin info for the dawn. <laughs> oh, it's it's done. Come alone. Of course. Probably should have saved. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I uh, thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. Huh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Leslie? Leslie. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. I'm surprised he's even talking. Spilling the beans to those Should three just shoot him. artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, oh. claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. Yeah, <laughs> exposition much. Chinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market. Oh yeah, with Elon Musk, right? I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was going to let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. I think he only wanted his fiance. I, well, of course he wouldn't understand. Time, kiddo. Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is That situation is when other people are watching. Is this a meta joke? You think you've already won. Oh right. This was already said before, right? Goodbye. No! Think again, Don. Huh? Oh, so he did not know we were there. <laughs> you were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Oh! Oh, there! It did seem pretty fake. <laughs> Good, Abzu. Feel free to play with your food. I I don't think I was supposed to go over here. I wanted to just get out. I don't know how to leave. I just wanna go. First him, then Corneo. Then Cornetto. Oh. Deal with that. Yeah, I'll do it. I need to get a limit break going for Tifa, so maybe I should be as well. I should actually. I should. I will assess. Maybe um, Tifa has. Um, I think she still has steel on her. I think maybe that would be nice. A nice little touch. I've barely done that. Allow me. Corny boy. We just. Fire, which I have as both Cloud and as Tifa, but lesser resistance. It's a shame because what's his name's weapon? Barrett's weapon is infused with ice. A giant beast that Don Corneo himself keeps in the sewers. Much more intelligent. Always about intelligence. Then it appears, always about how more intelligent than it appears. It uses the surrounding environment to its advantage. You know, I think that these developers are trying to will the AI to be better than it is. Or maybe they're just self-boasting. The developers are like, we programmed these monsters to do really cool, smart moves. Though I might disagree, who knows. To its advantage in attacks with sewer water. When hunting for prey with its family, it will always command its offspring. It commands its offspring. Magic attacks have only a slight effect on its dagger gauge, and ice attacks have no effect. Well, that's great. I'm at a disadvantage, for sure. Uh, 
Can it be like Final Fantasy X where I'm able to change the materia in the middle of battle? You know? I can change weapons in the middle of battle and... Hmm. Anyway, let's steal. Success! I stole a turbo ether. I want to do some rear assaults! I want to get you from the rear, mister. Ow! He doesn't want it. Oh. Owie, owie, owie! Okay, maybe I should also do some, uh... <laughs> some regens. Yeah. And because, um... Well, maybe with Barret I can use some of his uh, tanking. I can use some tank moves with him. Okay. I'll get Regen going with Tifa. You're up. Taking over. With Barret, um... I'll use the steel skin and the lifesaver. And then uh, I'll, I'll also put the regin on Barrett, I guess. Oh, um. No need to panic. And hope. How, uh, it doesn't last the entire. Oh. I thought being behind it would save me, but. Uh, uh. Huh. Huh. What? Hello! Hello to my weapon! Okay. What's it doing? It's provoking? Oh, no. Oh, no! Little babies. When I get you from the rear. Yes! Okay, let's get some, uh, Faraga. It is pressured! Hit it! I don't have, like... I definitely don't have all the AP in the world. I really... My goal... What am I doing? For you. Is to get my limit break. Oh, my limit break's coming. Uh-oh. Oh! Ultimate weapon. I just replayed 10 after 7 years. And the story is even better now as an adult. It is better! I was so scared when I replayed it. So scared that it wasn't going to be like I remembered. and But it's so good. Um. All set. Allie! You asked for it. <gasps> My limit break! Okay. Time for refocus. Above and beyond. This is what we want! This is what we need! Except for I need to actually use it. I have nowhere to like go. You're up. Hang back. Okay, uh, go. yeah, Tifa, use your uh, use your abilities. Of uh, which there's an Absu somewhere. I'm let's gonna miss it. Hot. At least I know where it is. Yeah. And it's dead. Okay, great. I'm doing so good. I'm doing so great, everyone. Okay. Um, unbridled strength, uh, star shower. Do it! Abzu! Yeah. Okay, um, I think Cloud could probably do his Infinity Zen, and, and Barret could, uh, I don't know, be, be furious. In the wrong direction? No. <laughs> In the wrong direction, of course! Ugh! Oh. 
Oh yeah, so it does seem that the Regin does run out. Um. Eventually. Alright, I need to read more! I need to read what you're saying! About ten! Okay, maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, you're, you're posting the clip. The criticism I hear about ten story all the time sounds like people are not paying attention to the story. It is a bit infuriating. People really play that whole game and not pay attention to the story. Is that even possible? Because I think I get this criticism about Final Fantasy VII! That I'm not paying attention to the story, but... The story is so easy to consume in ten. I mean, there is the details, like, about Dreams Anarchin that is confusing. But I don't think that you have to understand it to appreciate the game. I have my limit. I have my limit. It's right here. Okay. So, d how did I do? Good? Ah! No! The sewage! I was about to say? About to say what? Okay. Um. Wait, Regin. Oh, everything costs a little MP. No, it just Regin costs a little MP. Did I just cast it on Barrett? Crazy. Um. Time to burn. Oh, the summon's coming. I think that's probably good. Need a light. Okay, Barrett's gone. <laughs> Deal with that. Someone should do something about that. Kept you um. So who is gonna be using the summon? I mean, if the thing is weak to fire, it probably. I think Tifa might have a crit. Oh, everyone. Why do they suffer so much? Um, yeah. Help us out. I am relying very heavily on Tifa. She has the limit break again? That's just so crazy. Uh, everyone needs to heal. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, Mr. Amsu! I, Mr. I need to attack you! Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Damage is reduced. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I'm not going out like this. Um, oh yeah, I have summon abilities. Um, which would be good to use, except for like the whole part where I'm dying. But it's okay. I'll get the tail. And um I'll also Radiant Plume. Even though I'm nearly dead. But it's okay! Everything is fine! So dead. Oh! All set. Okay. Well, I like. I don't have any. Um, I can use a mega potion. 
on Barrett and on myself. Second wind. Not looking good. Oh, and but Barrett's dead. So <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad all around. Tifa. Uh, I like want to use my summons abilities. But no! It's okay. We got it. Uh, woo! We did it. Yay! Yay, we did it. And there's not a cutscene afterward. That feels a little weird. There's normally like a an action cutscene that happens right afterward. Now we can get out of here, right? <sighs> anyway, reading your messages. Um, yeah, what are the main criticisms of 10? I don't even know. 7 is not that complicated, I would say. Not that it's as simplistic as 10. It's more of a message about society as well as personal relationships and the way people deal with trauma and pain. It requires more than Final Fantasy X, does it? I feel that some of the intentional awkward scenes like in X, like when Titus and Mina, Yuna, Mina, what was I going to say? First meet on the boat and Yuna is like, the breeze, it's nice, and they just crack up. Like, I do think that is a, is a, a strange and awkward scene. I think it's endearing, but... I think part of the reason I do think it's endearing is because uh, I can only see the game as a whole now, and I like the game as a whole, so I can't really see that scene objectively and think, huh, that's kind of weird that they just laugh for no reason when they're barely talking and they're awkward. But they're cute awkward, but someone has to think that they're cute awkward, and that someone is not me, so who am I to really judge what they think? Flies right over people's heads, and they take it as bad writing. Uh, like, they people want to say things are bad writing. They want to. But, you know, what it really is is just how they took it in in the moment and what they think it is. And so that's the real opinion there. So I can see someone feeling that way. I can see them thinking that. But, and I'm not going to say they're wrong. It's, uh, what I would say is just that isn't what I experienced when I did it, when I played it. Anyway, right? I think I can have a lot of compassion and empathy for other people's perspectives. In fact, it, it can grip me too strongly, right? I've said this before, where I have a hard time even knowing what I think because I just go, I see why you think this way. I see why you think this way. I understand. I can argue most sides, even when I completely disagree with them. Um, and I try to stay away from the, the completely bad faith interpretation, which is they just did not understand the story. Like they're, Because, you know, people have those bad in faith interpretations about you, just like, oh, you only like it because of the memes. Like, that a guy actually had a take about it. It makes you feel defensive. Like, I like it because of the memes. Memes didn't exist when this game, when I played this game. There's no way that's possible. But, you know, to just go like, oh, you didn't like it because you just didn't understand the story. I would much rather assume, even though I would hear the, the criticisms, you didn't like it because the characters didn't resonate with you. The themes didn't resonate with you. Um, the... Perhaps the stiltedness of the dialogue took you out too much. The lack of facial expressions, maybe that also took you out too much. Um, it could be anything like that. It, but the thing is that people give reasons. And normally the reasons that they give are just straight up not the real reason. And that nobody knows truly what the real reason is. Uh, they're just rationalizing it. They are taking a feeling and rationalizing it. And so it's part of why I just kind of like, like to say nothing. I don't even like to talk about what my opinion really is. Because 
it's wrong. Whatever I'm going to say, whatever comes out of my mouth, it's, the not, it's not the truth. And everything everyone says about why they like something is also not the truth in some way. Because it's a feeling, it's an emotion. It's more like music. It's more like... It's a, a language that's more subliminal than English. That's what I think. Anyway. Um... Granddaddy, I have always defended Tentu as having a great story, and yet I get pushback from even within the fandom. Whatever, I accept it. I know Tentu is perfect. Yeah. Well. I can't, I can't agree on the great story, but I understand. <laughs> um. Not paying attention to the emotional beats the scenes are trying to convey. The emotional beats. It doesn't matter what, what the scene is trying to convey. All that matters is if it resonates. And if it doesn't, then it, then it doesn't. It can't win at all, right? It can't win everyone's hearts. Yeah. I don't think it's bad to say 7 requires a bit more brain power. Doesn't make 10 any less a great game. Well, I take con conflict with the it takes more brain power. You have to be bigger. I'm like, tr is triggered the right word? But I'm like kind of upset. I am upset about, because I feel like I've been getting this messaging as I've been playing Seven, as I've been playing the first Seven, Crisis Core, and so on. And I have not been, you know, grooving grooving with this game like I did with Ted and I'm just not and that's just the truth and I just just in the chat and just in ways I feel like it's it, you know the way I'm reacting isn't wrong because it's just authentic and it's just the way it is and it's under circumstances I'm I am older I'm playing this game for the first time I have no nostalgia I have I am playing it with eyes, people watching me, um, the tone, the characters, all of it is not resonating as it Final Fantasy X did when I played it when I was 14. So it's so completely different. Um, oh, great. What was I going to say, though? Oh, yeah. I feel like the messaging I get is that I have to be bigger brained or smarter to like Final Fantasy VII. And it's, it, it infuriates me in a way. It's like, oh, so Final Fantasy VII fans are smart, smarter than Final Fantasy X fans. It's, it kind of feel like that's the takeaway I'm getting. It's just like, oh, Miranda, if you just thought about it more, then you would like it more. And that's just not how experiences work. You love something because it hit you on a subliminal emotional level. And it wasn't because you thought about it hard enough and then you loved it. Like... With Final Fantasy X, and I've got I've received this comment. Like, if you delved into Final Fantasy X more, or if you delved into Final Fantasy VII lore the way you delved into Final Fantasy X lore, then you would like VII more. But the only reason I went into Final Fantasy X lore was because I liked it. It wasn't the other way around. And I did it for the videos. I actually didn't know all, uh, all the stuff about Dreams Anarchan and how it worked. Um, until like last year or a couple of years ago, I loved the game for 20 years and I didn't fully even grasp actually how the mechanics worked. And then I went, I listened to a podcast and I thought about it and went, oh, okay, I guess I understand kind of how it works. But I just like, I went, I flowed with it as you do with a story. You're supposed to just flow with it. So anyway, anyway, that's a rant. <laughs> That's a rant, and it means nothing. Um, anyway. Uh, Ultima Weapon. Not paying attention to the emotional beats of the scenes. Oh, yeah, I've already read that. Um, Furion. I don't think it's bad to say 7 requires a bit more brain power. I have read that, too. Um, I'm never wrong, but okay. You're taking it differently than what I meant. No, it's not about what you meant. I'm talking about just generally. Just generally, it's just a, the sense that I'm getting. I'm not saying that you're saying that. Um, Ten is a magical fantasy that speaks for itself. It's like Harry Potter. The story speaks. 
Seven is more vague. Um, yeah. So, um, anyway, I'll, I'll get back to it. Blah, blah, blah. Very serious Miranda moment. But I want to get out of here. Is this getting out of here? This is... <laughs> it's like I need to be over here, don't I? I am worried about continuing. But it was backtracking. What do I do? Did I save? I know I opened, I say, uh, like I opened the menu, but I don't know if I saved. Should I keep going? No. Okay, it's making me go. And I saved. So now there's no choice but to go forward. I don't have multiple save files. This is it. You okay? Where's Cornell? Wow. Sorry, bastard got away. Leslie didn't even hesitate. It's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. <gasps> can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? Cloud knows. We'll meet again. It's a symbol of reunion. Why are they giving him hope when she's maybe dead? That is sick. You are cruel. You are cruel to Leslie. I've got no choice but to find her first. Hmm. Are we helping Thanks. him? Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need. Ooh, it's a sack. <gasps> return, oh, here we go. Hold L1 to return above ground. Wait, this is what I want, right? I want to get out of here. <laughs> yes, I want to get out of here. Get me out. Oh, all I needed to do was just continue, and it was fine. My prayers have been answered. Oh, yeah, seven being called vague is a little bit of an uh, understatement. Taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> this way. That's sweet! Smog! I love it! Yum, num, 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 num. Grappling guns. Bringing in that Bring air. Fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. Oh, wait. I wanted to get out of here! It, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. Wait, I want to come back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Can I do the quests? Thank you. <laughs> That's all we care you. about. <laughs> We're looking for someone too. That right. Chocobos. We're looking for chocobos. Hope you find them. 
So what kind of flower is that? Is it a hibiscus flower? Is it like Yuna? A Yuna flower? Until we meet again! Bye! Let's go. Yeah, my prayer is to Yevon. I pray to Yevon every day. Can I leave now? <gasps> Yay! This is what I wanted! Happy day! Happy! The secret stash is done! Oh, what a relief. I was so worried. So worried that we wouldn't get here and finish this quest. <gasps> But I'm now relieved and happy because, like, these chapters just go whooshed by and I don't know when. So we didn't miss it. Anyway. Um, but uh, what about Seven being big? Especially in Crisis Court, people all talk in poetic statements and, like, really cryptic poetic statements in, like, a very serious, broody way. It's Sephiroth. Now, if pe people say, like, Final Fantasy X is kind of makes them cringe, but I kind of feel like that stuff that was in Crisis Core. And it's not because of the game. It's because of my childhood. It's because I had like a friend who was a bit more of an emo girl and she was like all into that. And so by nature, by me thinking of my friend who was so far into that, it makes me cringe. But I think that other people don't have that level of self-awareness. They just cringe. They're just like, oh, that's cringy, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, there's a reason I know there's a reason that I find it a little bit more off-putting, this kind of thing than this kind of thing. And it's less to do with it than it is to do with my life. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah. Some people really still cringe at um, anime of all kinds. They find it cringy. Because of the drama. Anyway. Tyrion, that's my point. Take Titus. He simply put a good guy with dad issues. A relatable issue for most and a desire to do good. He has a noble heart and what's the and wants to help if he can. Nothing complex. Meanwhile, Cloud has all this psychological trauma that requires further analysis beyond the average person's experience. Further in- well, okay, I, I, I'll go on. And then everything is mysterious and hidden and not as clear. That's true. It is true that Cloud is a lot more- uh, he is more broody and a lot more internal. But I still don't think that you need to analyze it. I think that if you resonate with a character like Cloud, you, you like you will it's more personal that you'll resonate with his experience if you yourself can re understand his trauma. But it's it's your level of empathy and compassion for his type of character. But it's not a cerebral thing. Because people don't experience stories logically or so, yeah. I feel like Ultima Weapon, I feel like 7 and 10 are equally convoluted. They are both convoluted stories. In a good way, of course with maybe 10 being slightly more convoluted. They're both convoluted stories, but yeah. Um, I love anime, anime so <laughs> hence, I can't read. The same, I was gonna say same, like the name Granddaddy, Otaku. Granddaddy, have you ever been to Japan? And if you have gone to Japan, have you introduced yourself to other Japanese people as Granddaddy Otaku? Because that sounds very fun. And have you gone to a maid cafe? Have you gone to Akihabara? Gone to a... <laughs> it's a fun time. I saw a guy 
at a maid cafe legitimately working like at work while the maids were around and they have to pay by the hour you have to buy at least one drink an hour in order to be there so his time was precious and yet he seemed to be working on a program doing coding it was kind of surprising anyway Furion, i can tell you as a 20-year fan of seven that a lot of fans of seven like to analyze but it's after they fall in love after not before they wouldn't analyze it if they didn't care they experience the game and then they want to delve in after they're fans you don't you don't analyze and then become a fan that is not the pipeline it isn't that is how every fandom works you, it's it starts with the heart it's it then and then the mind always Yes, they become obsessed. But only first, after falling in love. I always wanted to go to Japan. Or China. I love Japan. We'll agree to disagree. So... But that's... It would be... You actually do disagree, though? Because I thought I was agreeing with you, like... That it is cerebral, but after after they like it. You play the game, you like it, then you want to know more. Then you want to become a fan and, and get into the lore. And it's the same with 10. Like you, I played the game, I loved the game, then I wanted to know more. I didn't fall in love with it until after I started analyzing it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm very surprised then. <laughs> I'm very... Oh, if you say that's your experience. Oh, that's kind of surprising to me. Because why would you be motivated to analyze it if you didn't like the game to begin with? You had to at least l like it. Oh, okay. You went from like to love. Okay. Then I think that makes enough sense. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. Maybe I'll Our get there one day. The of Sector 7 rebuild. Or maybe not. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Ooh, 10 SP, the art of sword play. Thank you. That's all I got. For all of that? Well, I got the things from the stash, too. Do I get to sell it? What did you just talk about? Tifa is a dum dum. And Aerith is a dum dum, too. And Cloud is a dum dum. Oh, Granddaddy, you're speaking my language. Speaking it right now. But then again, maybe it is possible to analyze something and then fall in love with something. Like, I did take a, um, a math appreciation class when I was in college, and that did work magic. I was like, what? I want to go back and take more math classes. And I, because I appreciate math so much more. I misunderstood math this whole time. Misunderstood. I've had a change of heart. Yeah, it is possible to have a change of heart. I love Zach, though. Okay, so we did the mission. Great. I'm so happy. Woo! What do I do with all my tiaras? Okay, I'm glad... Very glad that we're still in chapter 14. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna look up the missing children mission here. Cause I don't, not sure what to do. Seven. Because we did get to the location once. The missing children locations in the slum public ceremony. Uh, cemetery in the five slums. 
Okay, the public cemetery. That's where we need to go. And I lost the battle last time so terribly. We'll see how it goes this time. Public. Oh, in the Sector 5 slums. Right? Or not? Ah, uh, great. I want to look at this map. Yeah, in Sector 5 slum area. I, uh... Uh, oh, yeah, it's right here. So we should go... Yeah. Shit. Well, we'll be able to do it. We want to be in the Sector 5. Oh, right? Here at the Undercity entrance, I believe. Dating is a form of analysis. Oh, but the first moment of dating, isn't that about your gut? About just pure gut instinct? I, I think that, hmm, it, it, is, it is making a good argument though, because I do think it's like, you have to at least like or be intrigued or interested at least and um, so and i did say at first you have to love it in order to delve into it but yeah to be interested or intrigued or enticed in some way but if you are not then you don't take that extra step and it, it's still so much at a gut level isn't it well, and all of people are different. I don't know how much, probably not, because I don't like it. I personally don't like the Myers-Briggs, but I think about it fairly often recently. And some people are so, like, I am 100% a feeling person. Not 100% is too strong of a term, but I am, I am way more a feeling person than I am a cerebral thinking person. Like... If I, my language is in, is in feeling and in instinct and in gut reactions and people who, who tell me to think that they think logically, it's like my, my brain is like, just does not understand. And so it is a disagreement, like, especially when it comes to art, I'm going like, it's, it's all a language of feeling. No, no, no! You're fine, you're fine! I'm the one who's doing it! <laughs> um, yeah! And I... Avalanche? Oh wait, I went too far. Um, but I want to read what you were saying. Although love at first sight exists, most relationships go from physical attraction to emotional love after experimenting and testing the variables we call this dating. Dating is a form of analysis. Oh yeah, so I didn't read your full message, sorry. Um. <laughs> Girls are good at math and boys are good at science. What? But you don't know you love someone until you do, and you have to give it a chance to shape that love. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and Delany, when I was in school in the year 2000, I heard, oh yeah, I already read that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never heard that before. I thought it was girls are good at language or something at the arts and boys were good at the sciences. 
maybe. And good isn't the right word because girls are good in all areas. But when it comes to interests, oh, I don't want to delve into that. Okay, I, we're going to be going this way. Correct? Oh, no, wait. We're going... I just went the wrong way again, didn't I? Hold on. I'm going up and then... Oh, yeah. Public. No, this is the right way. I'm a little bit scared. I think I just saved, but I'm saving again. <laughs> we want to get as close to the spot as possible for when we die. Oh, yeah. I had an, um, I was in my relationship with Stan, Stefan, not relationship. Uh, when I was getting to know Stefan, I was very intrigued by him because he acted strange. And I liked how strange he was, at, like, because we went to high school together and he just didn't care who was watching him? He was just... Weird. But everyone knew him. I also liked that, like, everyone knew who he was, and everyone kind of, like, felt an odd sort of affection for him. But he was a, a complete... Yeah. Had no care in the world about what other people thought of him. Hey, Cloud. And I found that so lost intriguing. Games. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere. We've done this before. When I, around, everyone was gone. I barely remember it. Was Oops. With his hair, it looks like he should be in a, a band. Yeah, his name is Oats. That! I heard that and everyone disappeared! What a name, Oats. Heads up. Have you ever met someone named Oats before? I mean, have you ever met someone named Claude before? Alright, um... So, uh, what is it again? Uh, uh, we assess. Because uh, I forget. All right. I'll have um, Tifa using the regens. No need to panic. I got this. Um. Right. Um. Uh, let's go and assess. Let's do it right. <laughs> Is his last name Neil? I don't know. While walking in the hallway, that's what I heard, and then laughter or giggle after? What? What? Um, okay. Phantom, weak to fire, like, um, remembering this. It's, I've hardly cast status ailments on anything. It looks like I could have put them to sleep. Maybe. Thought by experts to be subspecies of ghost, much like their relatives, however. They sit upon passerby and cause mischief as well as harm, and no one can discern why. Dispel its dispelling its reflect spells with breach makes it susceptible to staggering. Dispelling with breach. But I don't have breach, right? Enemy skills can be learned from the monster. Uh Oh, right, I just get a hit by it, and I think that I have that on Barrett, so we're good there. Um, all right, I'll, I'll cast fire on it, I guess. If it doesn't disappear, is that what, this, what the deal is? That's... Keep it together. Yes, it's my turn. <laughs> Shoulda had fire! Shoulda! What it coulda? Got a whole heap of land with your name on it. Oh, he, he should also be attracting attacks, huh? I got this. 
So I like really terribly lost last time. Really terribly. It's been a while though. Let's do this right. Tifa is a name. Yeah, like all these names are so unique. Let's do this. <laughs> it has reflect on it. But that one doesn't have reflect, so. Right? Did I burn it? Am I good? Oh, yeah. Hit in the air. Blizzard up. And, and it hit. Of course it hits! <laughs> Great! I'm so good! And then um, I used Steel Skin and want to use Lifesaver. Tifa could. I could do uh, some fiery things with her. I think. We're gonna just be able to win this, huh? Oh, wait, no. It, there's Reflect. <laughs> Spirit Siphon ability we got. Oh, no. Just go and hit myself. That's fine. Um. The star shower thing. Well, I guess it just... The thing just disappeared. There was that. Good luck. Hang back. Um. Uh, it disappears! And Barret's dead! <laughs> I thought I gave him steel skin. Be careful. Need my help, do you? Ah, frustrating, frustrating. Yeah, Sephiroth is a name as well. That's true. Is there any normal names? I think that's what I'm trying to ask. I've changed my question. Is there a normal name in this game? I guess um, Don is kind of normal. Leslie's kind of normal. Uh, yeah, Barrett. I've got you covered. I wish that I could take off the reflect, but I can't. If I was prepared for this fight. Oh, it's staggered! What? Wait, which one's staggered? It's this one. What am I doing? Time to get gotcha. Overpower. Um. Oh, it's defeated! That's amazing! I guess I could have used the, you know, the whole limit break or something. But we have refocus. Well, I think we're gonna be able to win. Woo! For real? It's great. Yeah! Winning, 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 winning. Ah, oh, so relieved. That was so much easier that time. <laughs> Granddaddy, it sounds like you have uh, liked everything about nice. Final Fantasy VII Remake. What I don't like? Oh, we can't eat chocobos. I see. So why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? <laughs> Wait, we just killed their parents! Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe ya. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, 
I found this on the we got a time materia. I think it might come in handy. Bunch I think I smart have it. Do I have a time materia? With good hearts. What do I like about Seven besides his muscles? There's um, been some cute moments. I did say like that I wanted to see cute moments, and I definitely got them. I think the gameplay is pretty fun. I don't know. That's hard. Why are you asking me hard questions? Hard for me, anyway. Hard for me to say. And uh, the kid's name is Oats, and that's my favorite thing. Why am I saying that the question is hard? Like, I should just say, like, I like... I like Leslie, and I like Oats. And... They're my favorite characters in the game so far, and will forever be. So you don't like Aerith? I said what I said, so whatever, make of it what you will. I like Barrett's gun and his arms. And um, I like um, Tifa's pull-ups, and I like Cloud's squats. And, um, and I like Aerith's pink dress. And I guess I also like her red dress, too. Whatever that means. Okay, sorry. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I wanted to look at, um, my materia. Look at it. Look at it! I have this item master hardly making good use of it. My efficacy is up by 40%. And I have hardly benefited from that. Because I haven't been specifically using items with Cloud, I think. I, I guess I have a little bit, but I could be more. Um, time materia. So ha have I had a time materia before? Question. It seems no. Use haste. That seems pretty great. So, and then there's slow and stop. Is, um, and I'm resistant to slow and stop. So that's pretty powerful. Should I equip it? I think I might. Okay, well, so I, we have two fires. Like Tifa has a fire and Cloud has a fire. That's probably not necessary. I can add the item thing back in. Item master. I like it. I just am not using it. And I have the AP up on the HP up. We need to get this HP up, up, up. Do you like Zach? Yo, um, I like his spiky hair. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I like the spiky hair. I mean, isn't it true his hairstyle pretty closely resembles um, Phoenix Wright? Right? Well, Phoenix Wright. Yeah. So there's his hair. I see that. Which, of course, is supposed to resemble a phoenix. And then, you know... And then Zach's hair. Oh, yeah! Like... They're practically identical! I think even to... I think they even have a piece in front of them. Yeah, they do. And the same... On the same side as well. And, um... I personally love Ace Attorney, and so therefore... Um, maybe I have mild, if any, affection for Zach. Maybe. Only because of that resemblance. Only. Yeah, Barrett is beefy. Yep, yeah, it's true. Oh right, and I'm and I'm just wandering around, not knowing what I'm doing. But I put the time thing on, so there's that. Over the wall. We 
Um, so the Corneo secret stash is done. Wait, so we've cleared everything. So we just need to get quest 21 and 24. I guess I should look that up because I don't know how to get them. <laughs> um, quest 24? Subterranean Menace? Um, speak, uh, with Weimer in Evergreen Park in the Sector 6 slums. Um, Evergreen Park. But where is the Evergreen Park? In Sector 6 slums, it said? Is there a chocobo that goes there? Yeah, there is a chocobo that goes there. Oh. Hold on, everyone. We gotta get to a chocobo. <laughs> Zack is a good guy. I love Zack. If we had Zack with us right now, this game would be over. He he'd be using his epic hair to defeat all of his enemies. His hair, yeah, his hair is the best part of Zack, for sure. Um, he would just be cutting people with his hair. Like, Cloud would still have the sword, because he has the sword right now. And, but Zack doesn't need one. He can just go, whoosh, whoosh, cutting, cutting with his hair. And he could be even blocking with his hair, you know? So true. So true. <laughs> Is this music changed? The Chocobo is like beat Chocobo for real. Featuring the Chocobo doing the little quay noises. And the song. That's kind of cool. Hey. You're Weimer? Oh. Hey, Barrett. Yeah. Hey. How's it going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them, I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Ah, uh, what do I gotta Those do? rumors about a lab? Lab? They're true. Yep. There is one. Hidden underground somewhere, and it's full of monsters. Oh, more so monsters. Cloud. Think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time. What are you gonna give me in return? These monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but but no one else can. Oh. Do it. Well, yeah. So help us out. <laughs> me gone. No Gaga. Gun Gaga. No Gaga. Okay, I guess I could have started this like right here. I I was wait, I, sorry, I was right here. Head underground. I guess I might as well. Yeah. Hmm 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 hmm. So, uh, we're on another mission. Okay, this is like the second to last mission out of all the missions. Oh, oh, I see the recommendation of Yakuza. But instead of this, that is cruel. What? I played some Yakuza. I have Yakuza 0. Although, I, saying I've played it was again, I was being a girl who watches her man play. That was what was happening. Uh, Stefan was, we were streaming, Stefan was playing it. I watched, it was a while ago. Woo! 
Oh, a bench! Oh, the main theme. Okay, are we... Am I going where I'm supposed to go? Are we going... Uh, drive off monsters. Oh yeah, we're going to a place we've been before. We've gone here to the lab, right? Faint growling in the distance. That sounds a little spooky. Uh-oh. I don't want to do this. Why? It's on you. All right, gotta rely on uh, Barrett's. I think this is fine. I'll just have a. I'll bury it. We'll take care of it all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, we got a new move. I should check it out. Barrett has absorbed more. What? Sniper? What? I did not know! Uh, but yes, I want to have a special stream. Not sure if it's actually going to happen, but... Oh yeah. Spirit Siphon. Drain HP from surrounding enemies. It costs 2 ATB. That might be very helpful when I'm desperately suffering, but not right now. There's so many times when we need health in a short notice. Cloud. Wait, you're not Cloud. Well, uh, whatever. Use, um... Use your abilities. Use it. Cloud, you use them too. Oh, he missed. Do you see him miss? Cloud, how could you? There's just a... 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 a terrible hound. I love that maximum fury. I can use one or two. I can use... I don't have to use it twice. It just... It just matches the power where I'm at. I'll, uh, oh yeah, I have to use two ATVs for the siphon, and Barrett's health is suffering, but it's whatever. Well, sir! Okay. Um. <laughs> suffering with the, the whole health thing. Okay. Good job! Oh, that L1 button about heading up, that's so nice. Hello! Lila! Has Miranda died? Oh, actually, there has been no death so far in this stream, or ever, for that matter. I've never died once in my life. Which is true, you know? I have never died. Have you ever died? I doubt it, right? So, here we are! I mean, we're, we're very slow. Moving very slowly. Lots of chatting. Lots of blah blah blahs today. Um, it's a mood. What? I have I gone? Am I going down? I'm going down, right? And I also need to be healing. But Cloud, I have his items boosted. I believe. Right. So, like, if I have Barrett use a mega potion. Oh wait. Did I have class items boosted? Oh, I took it off. Oh, no, item master retreat it increases the effectiveness of items used in battle. Oh, in battle. So if I'm using it out of battle, then it does not increase the effectiveness. Hey! Well, I, I gotta figure that out. Right? Immortal. I don't know if I'd go that far. But maybe. Maybe I am immortal. Hmm? Move aside. Make way. Coming through. 
Okay, we need your lightning moves, Cloud. Fendaga! Ah! It's like Gungaga, but Fendaga. Uh, don't you like saying the Aga words? Aren't they fun? Wind. I think that Tifa has wind. Araga! Just looking the wrong way. Did it say immune? That is tragic if it's immune. Okay, it is weak. So, and it's pressured. Allie! Keep it together. Uh, okay, I'm having Barrett here. All set. Having Tifa. I don't know. Doing something. So, oh, it's immune to just attacks. Why is it? What is it immune to? Or was hitting it with wind, did that help it? What? Oh, oh, I see. I, I see it has the little thing around it that's protecting it. So I hit it once and then... Okay, this one... Oh, oh, right. I've, I've fought these fiends before. But they... I hit them with magic and then they're immune to physical attacks. And then when they have physical attacks... When they're immune to magic, I should hit them with ice. Okay. Now... Uh-huh. Cloud, you use ether. I'm trying to learn. Trying. So, 28, but it gave her 40% more. Oh, and now it's physical attacks. Ellie! Right? Top three guess best characters of seven so far? Ah! No, so nosy. Um, Chadley? Okay, yeah, Chadley, Oates, and Leslie are my three favorite characters so far in this game. By far! I guess not even a competition. So, I hope that helped. <laughs> um, I also do like Zach's uh, Phoenix right hair. But okay, wait, I, I was going this way, right? Wasn't I? We get deeper in and also we need healing. As always, we need more healing. It just keeps going. Frustrating. Um, asking good questions. Never dying, never hurting. Granddaddy, I think Zach and I have the most personality and likability. Wait, did you, Zach and, sorry. <laughs> The, I'm covering up the chat. I, did I just say and I? I just fill things up. Um, I think Zack and Aerith have the most personality and likability. I think Tifa carries an emotional weight from the fact that Sephiroth is responsible for killing her dad in her village. So uh, Tifa had to grow up too quickly. Oh yeah, and I... Whatever. What? I mean the main characters. I thought they were main characters! I don't know why you want a specific response from me. Let's finish this. Alright. Well, no, I dodged a question because I don't have an answer. I and I don't know. I don't have an answer. Also, I 
just think I make people sad by going like I I don't like actually attach to because it's it's a little bit like how much do you like the game Rid? I'm like I'm I'm not very attached to any of them to be honest. So so it's like a, not a happy answer. Um, I but I have mo like moments where I'm like oh I like that moment with them, but I haven't thought so deeply as to have a top three. All right, what am I? Um, oh, I haven't even assessed it. I got to know. I'm just asking a question. Yeah, see, that's the problem because you love Final Fantasy VII. That's why I'm like, oh no, I don't know. I'm not gonna be have a good answer. <laughs> um, I'm letting people down. Um, normally their attacks can't. Oh, wait, oh the Wrath Hound, who is ice, an ice fiend. Normally their attacks cannot be interrupted regardless of what ATB commands are used. Using certain attacks on them, however, sends them into a rampage! But it doesn't say which attacks. Which attacks? It also makes them susceptible to interrupt. Okay. Um, wait. So I'll just have Barret have, have Barret go hard and... Oh, I'll have him also go hard with Blizzaga. Let's see it. Yeah! It, am I, woo! Get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh... I don't, I don't, no, no, no! I don't think you're trying to trick me! But I do think that you're, but I am, uh, I don't need to answer your question. If I don't feel like it. Mm. Oh yeah, I catch she! It's Gaelic, as I, uh, <laughs> as, as I've been told three times. I, what, is, what even is Gaelic? Oh, yes, we got the stagger. Um, except for, I don't know if I'm ever going to get... Ever. <laughs> yeah, ever gonna get the, um, the, the quest thing? Ever gonna get the battle intel? <gasps> it says five! How did I get five? I don't even know! But it said, uh, it went up one. Yes. I think when you finish this game, you'll have an answer. Yeah, we have to finish this game, and then we have to watch Advent Children, and then there's a whole other game that's coming out. It's like Final Fantasy VII is endless. Um, and in fact, it, 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 the, the question was so far, right? But we haven't even gotten to other characters like Yuffie, which everyone's like, you're so much like Yuffie. Yeah. Wait, am, am I just going the wrong way? I'm going back up, aren't I? I probably see you. I'm just... I, I want to keep going down. The, the pattern has been going down and down and down. So I think I just started running straight back. I think. Right? Oh. I am very spatially challenged. Oh, right. I, but I like it's again another thing. I really don't like picking favorites. I really don't. Not a fun thing. Or or talking about likes or dislikes. Don't like to talk about who I like more or who I like less because every character serves a function. And every everybody needs to exist in this world. Next time, Barrett. Next time. 
well, unless we're talking about Yuna, then I resonate with Yuna, of course, as my favorite. Yeah! Yes, yes! Yeah, that's... The, uh, so then the answer I gave, well, of the main characters, I, yeah. So then, uh, I'll pick... Let's see. Well, we did see Ket... Uh, Ket she or Kate Sith, or wh however. We did see him. So therefore, he's in the running, right? And then of the main characters, I guess the options are just... Are actually very limited. If, if it's top three, and if it's, if it's of the main characters, then there is only like four characters to choose from. So then I can just say... The people who are in this party right now, Barrett, Cloud, and Tifa are my favorites. There. We win! I hope... I hope I'm going the right way and doing the right thing. I was supposed to go underground. It did tell me to do that. The mission? Ring Ma. What? I thought I could... I haven't assessed them? We've seen these things so many times. Ugh. Oops. We're here again. I feel like we've just been here. Just been here. Oh. Oh no. Why? No! No! And she's just dying. She's just dead. It just happened just now. And poisoned. Okay, Barrett. Um. Let's see. Whose poison matters more? Um. Clouds or Kiva's? I wish Barrett would say, make up your mind on where to go. It seems in character. Watch yourself. All right. Oh no, why is... Uh, everyone's asleep! Why is this so bad? Why, 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 why? Okay. okay, Cloud, use your haste or something. I need to use haste at some point. Or give it a try. Now. Um... Best do it right. <laughs> these... <laughs> these ring moths, what did they do to me? Let me get this straight. You're just gonna ignore our Queen Aerith. Yes! Why not? Who's Queen anyway? I thought I was Queen. Mm hmm. Yeah. They become stronger sometime after the battle starts, but they will return to normal after taking a certain amount of damage. Oh, they just have a, a moment where they become super strong. And then we die. Okay. Gorger subspecies, larger than their close relatives and armed with blade-like front legs. Drawn by the taste of human flesh, they often venture into uh, residential areas. Okay, well, they're defeated. And that was rough. I say... Yeah! Make up my mind! Where Weiner has asked Cloud to drive off monsters that have taken over Shinra's underground test site. So we actually have to go all the way to the underground test site. Um, that we've been to before, that... What's his name? Barrett has blasted through with his gun. Good job. Right? Uh, yeah, uh, I like Aerith's dress. I'm not even sure if I want to cosplay as her. I actually just want her jacket and I want her dress. I like the pink. I said before that she like looks a lot like Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. The, the dress and the bow. Yeah. All right, we seem to be close to it. 
Uh, this is easier this time, I think, because there's nothing blocking us from just going straight through, right? Or is there? Um, wait, how do I go down? <laughs> This is where I just came from. Did I... I haven't defeated the monsters I was supposed to defeat yet. Oh, growling from behind the door. Door! What am I missing? What door? This door! That door! Um, this door. <laughs> I was. <gasps> ah! 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 As a queen, I just spend time screaming and running around in circles, not knowing what I'm doing. The monster is near. Oh, I see. I go this way. Ha! This door. I am spatially so in trouble all the time. Where do I go? What do I do? Constant. All right, here's a subterranean menace I should have saved beforehand and I should have healed, but you know. It's okay. Looks like it would be weak to ice. We, we beat, we've faced this beat before. Yeah, totally. Height zero behemoth. We'll uh, do an assess. Maybe I'll even do a haste. Maybe uh, Tifa will even do a uh, regen. Okay, so we cannot stop or slow it. Or is that just a stop? I mean, it doesn't matter. Immunity is sleeping. A variant form of the behemoth. Yeah, we followed the yellow brick roar. Definitely. That's so cute. <laughs> They're bred and raised the Shinra lab specimens. Cripple and knock down its upper or lower body. While one is knocked down, do the same to the other to stagger it. So when I knock down an upper, I hit the lower. It will counter if attacked with spells while its horns are intact. So don't hit it with spells with horns. Don't forget to assess. Never mind. We did it. We've assessed. And I can steal an enchanted ring if we wanted to. And we can get a dropped behemoth horn. Behemoth. Am I, do I pronounce it correctly? Probably not. Never did. Uh. Say goodbye. Probably I should... Well, I don't know. I don't know what I should or shouldn't do. Go, 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 go! Alright, um... Tifa... Or, sorry. Yeah, yes. To Tifa, I'm gonna go and uh, cast some regens. Because I learned that that is a smart thing. And also my health is already in poor condition. So I cast it on Cloud, I'm gonna cast it on Ferret. Then I'll cast it on me, and then... Yeah. And then we'll get Cloud in the mix, doing some haste. So Barret could use some... Oh, I'll, I'll get Barret in. Barret? Use your... Use your uh... What are you doing? Why are you in there like that? What's going on? Use your... Uh... Maximum Fury. And, uh... uh oh, wait, hopefully he's okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, cloud, um... Haste on Baron. Why? That whole thing was immune? Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> I just didn't even notice Tifa. She got skills and she also got deaded. So that's not good. Ah. Still got a job to do. Sad. Let's, uh... Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tifa can barely bite. Okay, actually, Cloud, I'll have you use a mega potion on Tifa. Um, what is that thing with his, uh, with Barra's ATB? Oh, is it? Oh, it's because of haste, isn't it? Is it? So how come there's the immune? Like, should I be locking on to a, a certain thing? Ah! Like, lock on to the lower body or something? His lower body's almost there, right? Oh, and then it's immune, and then upper body? Oh, oh, okay, I think, I think I understand. Uh-oh, he's just gonna get me. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Stagger him! Stagger him now, everyone! Cloud. Okay, or Tifa. I guess you. Okay, here. Um. Cloud, you do a. Enough of you. <laughs> staggered, staggered, staggered! Oh, that's great! It's great! It's, it's so good! Okay, um, yeah, Tifa, use your star shower, use your all, all your moves, all of them! Okay, um, and I also have, um, overpower, and then cloud, what else do we got? Okay, is it, I guess the stagger's over, isn't it? It's, he's back up. Okay, woo! How are you going? Yeah, Tifa. Or is it me? It is me playing the character who has the skills. The enchanted ring might be the only one you can get? Oh, I guess I'll have Tifa steal then, for sure. I'll pay attention to this. Cloud? Use, a uh... Use your moves! Together. Yeah, um. Right. You got this. All set. Steal it. I failed to steal, probably because I wasn't close enough. Maybe I'll try again. I'm, for, I'm stealing from his lower body. I know that is the place to steal from. Maybe it's in the upper body. <laughs> Why am I failing to steal? Do I need to steal from the horns? Like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm just so focused on this, and it's just such a fail. Bro, it's. Really? Like I actually am stealing from the legs? Ah! Uh. There were so many ATB moments! Am I on my limit break right now? Almost. Steal almost never works right away. It takes several tries. Ugh. Okay. It's still failing. Why? This was more than several. This was a million times. Did you count them? A million times. Yeah. No matter how many times I get, I try from the rear end. Nothing happens. So maybe it should be from the front. I don't know. 
But I tried from the front. All right, the front is ready. Oh, upper body? Oh, lower body? No, the both both bodies want uh, want me to to do something. It's on you. Taking over. Uh, gonna mega potion. Mega potion keep a few. Right? You Get ready. Why? Uh, stealing is worth it, right? But, but what? What is missing? What is wrong? Deal with that. Oh, owie, owie, owie. Don't stop trying. Okay. I am listening to you. Listening. Steal. <gasps> it happened. I almost gave up. Almost. But we got the enchanted ring now. It is enchanted and it's a ring. Which means it's probably really good. And I missed. Big miss. Please work. Please go. Spells. Cure. Cura on cloud. No need to panic. Fight through it. Use your infinity's end. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Way to go! Woo! Staggering! Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, oh, Tifa has a limit break. So I guess this is a good time. Probably. Crippling the horns? Oh, incredible. Okay. Use your star shower. Use your. Use it. Or is it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, something's happening. Something big. Why why can I still attack? Ooh! Defeated! Oh, it just I see. It, it, as typical it did a meteor thing happening, right? Winning! This is Square Enix baby. They put all their chips on this game. All their chips? Say you what, what you want about the story or the characters. Can't deny the devs pulled out some of their best work for this one. I'm going to deny it. Denying it. What did they do except for scribble with crayon on this game? Am I right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it is good looking. I did turn down the textures. Uh, I don't know if you can notice, but I did... I did turn down the textures because I was getting some drop frames, but that was just because of my machine. It's... yes. It's very good looking. So we did it, right? We did the... Um, I can go to the back up? Or should I say down here? Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, it was fun. These fights are pretty fun. Look at your new ring. Oh, great idea. Great idea. Thank you. Um, it's over here. And we have two champion belts happening. Um, is it? A, yeah. And there's enfeeblement. Enchanted ring. There we go. So we never had an enchanted ring before. A magic ring that ensnares the heart and mind. Oh. So. Oh, this is. Yeah. Like in Pokemon when you charm. Like that. <laughs> it charms. Very good ring. A magic ring that ensnares the heart and mind of any who look upon it. It extends the duration. No. It extends the duration of beneficial status effects applied by wear. Oh. A purity ring. Okay, so that's not what it does at all. 
Not like Pokemon. Um, so... Who... Who should wear it? Pifa? All status, including haste, regen. Maybe I'll put it on Cloud. Your spellcaster and main healer. Okay. Well, then I guess on Tifa. That's a good idea, huh? I've been using Tifa for everything. But she's been doing everything. It's kind of just happened that way. Oopsie! Um, I'll go and give you... Is... The champion belt good? I'm using it because it was so hard won. Increases HP and strength. Right? Cool. Uh, thank you for pushing me to continue to steal to get that thing. Because I wouldn't have probably done it otherwise. And now... Subterranean Menace. We're still... It, it still hasn't said that we've completed it. So do we... Con oh, I guess we haven't... We need to go farther? Or do we go back up? There's Test Ground Site B6. But the monster was behind the door. Always good for a character like Barret, a tank character. I've given. <laughs> Maybe I should give my HP rig. My. HP materia to Barret? I have it on cloud right now. Whatever. I'm not good with this. Should I leave? kind of feels like I should leave. Like, we defeated the big fiend. Maybe I should just check. I'm gonna... I'm look, looking at this guide here real quick. So we... Um, attacked it. Okay. I guess that's it then. Defeat. Okay, and I, I do go back. It looks like I go back. So we're good here. I think. <laughs> yeah, heading back up. Smiley faces. I love smileys. Hello, Weimer. Another great monsters. name. You're my favorite character in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Problem to worry about. I'll have you know, Weimer. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? You too, buddy. But hey, we're grounders. We don't break easy. I know it's not much, but take this with my thanks. My fantasy team. Final Fantasy VII team would include you, Weimer. I'll have you know. Everyone would love that fantasy team. I like Johnny too! Oh, Johnny! Speaking of characters that also remind me of Ace Attorney characters, he reminds me of Larry Butts. Totally. Johnny is that character, 100%. Larry! The pun is just so funny. Saying his name makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> OMG, yes. A hundred percent, yes. He's Johnny from The Shining. All right, what am I doing? I, obviously, I open this to go over here. Okay, 
We have one quest left on 21. I have to figure out what that is and where to go. Quest 21. Medicine. This medicine quest, I have to go to the community center near the leaf house in the sector five slums. Okay, so I see the map, sector five slums. I think we're in the sector five slums now, right? No, we're in the sector six slums. I want to get out of here. Oh, 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 two sec. We'll go over here now. My best Final Fantasy team would be Zack, Eric, Yuna, and Titus. Well, just just pick the biggest heavy hitters. You have to uh, fight with me over the characters. Is everyone able to just draw their own? Huh? All right, okay. So on the map, it kind of showed walking like kind of right, right over here. So I'll walk up and then take a left and then just kind of, wait, that's not up. This way is up. The trains haven't been running for days. Trains haven't been running for days. Then we go. Um, yeah, okay. I did it. I looked at the map. I went over here. This is uh, vaguely it. This is the community center. We need to play music. Everyone is a little bit not upbeat. What, what should we play? This is a little bit too down. I I do really like Costa del Sol. Okay, yeah, definitely. We're doing that. That is my mood right now. <laughs> what about Orin? Yeah, you're missing Orin. How could you? How could you, Granddaddy? So cruel. <laughs> if there was a game with those, I would be in heaven. Vincent is always in my party. Paladin, Cecil, Orin, the tank. Yuna, my healer. Vivi, my magic mage. Wow, a co big combo of different games. Oh, right, here he is. I just w blasted I'm right past him. Now. You're the guy. Hey, I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. Ah, don't remind me. Uh, Eret's gone. Eret's dead to me! You haven't seen her, have you? Huh. I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. You'd be doing this town a huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. Uh, okay. We got the list. Do I have to find these things myself? Oh, did you manage to get everything I needed? Thank did I? This ought to be more than enough. Oh, this just happened. See why Aerith put her trust in you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Worry. I'll take it from here. You've done more than your fair share already. Wow, we here, just did the quest. I'm betting it'll come in. Aerith here. got 10 SP. Maybe I should. Oh, I I've gotten SP too. She will be. <laughs> Aerith's not dead. I said she's dead to me. At this moment. Aerith, live on! 
Legends never die. Yeah, yeah. Well, Aerith's not with me right now, so why should I care about getting SP for her? You know what I mean? We're gonna be able to use her again? It's clearly, like, if I didn't be, if I didn't get these things for Aerith, as far as I knew, the battle would end with her. Anyway, upgrading weapons. I have this mithril saber. <laughs> 84 magic. It's so powerful, but then it's a... Uh... Oh, I'm so... So much materia, too. He's basically a mage. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Attack power with high HP. Okay. Element. Okay. <gasps> uh, the. No, not the D word! That's the reason I fell in love with her. It was very sad. The way Sephiroth just flew in from the sky. It was a pretty shocking moment. Like, I didn't actually believe it happened when it did. I mean, even though I knew, I knew something was going to happen to her, the way it did was pretty heavy. Because it's, like, at the midpoint of the game. I guess I, I expected it much later. I, I expected it to happen, just not then, in the, in the midpoint. It was a pretty dramatic. And then I was like, what? We're only halfway through the game? No! Okay, so we did all of the quests. I think that means that we can move on and go into over the wall. And that'll be next time because it's late now. It's at two, uh, almost 10 p.m. So we'll just end the stream. Oh, I was a little scatterbrained today. I know, a little all over the place. Um, but next time, well, actually, next time we might be doing a special Halloween stream. It might just be impromptu. I might just show up one day and say, hey, me and Stefan, we're playing a game. Maybe. And then on Wednesday, yeah, we'll continue. Sounds good. Thank you, Granddaddy, for being here. Julian, uh, Delaney, anyone else who may be watching this later who is still here or not here or whatever, especially the people who are not here. <laughs> Those are my favorite people. Anyway. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Chee-chees. -bye. <laughs>